might be the case. Yeah. Right now. There. Oh, you just stepped through the thing. Oh, through the yes, and we are wearing t shirts today. It is 73 degrees in our shop because our shop is a sunroom. Oh, the so, if we, so if we have sun, it's warm. Oh, boy, yeah. Okay, so do you want to throw those couple of bowls first? Yeah, I'll throw those bowls first. Oh, oh the cat. Yes, we did bring Desi, the old kitty, out here. The old lady cat. Yeah. And since we had to like, reset the router out here, it's been a few minutes since we got out here. So she had a full sun bath, but she loves clay dust. Had a good roll around, and now she's laying in the shade. Okay. She'll get warm enough. So I think we were going to do a more like, semi spherical of this. Yeah. Not quite that big. Yeah, well, these smart. ones are. That one's a twenty. That one's a twenty-five ounce piece. So we'll see if that's the right size or not. Do you want to get Claire it going Jackson. up over here? No. Yes. So I can make sure the leave things. It's a little hard to read from here. For one thing, there's reflection. Look Let's at have the sunshine. sunshine. You no. Know. Look at the sunshine. Oh wow! It's actually yeah, washing out the stream. I'm standing in the shadow. I am shading the wheelhead now. If we're on yeah. if I move, I'm not, look. Check that out. Freezing at night and sunny and nice during the day. Of course, it's only like 49 degrees outside. Mm -hmm. Outside. But, um, so we have Ryan, Floyd, Reskill and Sarah. No. No. I will have this going up over here for you momentarily. There we go. Okay. And let me actually use this as a shade for you right now. We could get the thing from in the family room to the thing that Yes. Broke. Glad I can. It might be, there might be enough left of it with a bungee for the phone, but not for my tablet. Yeah, Desi's having a good old sprawl in a shade spot right now. Yeah. All I'm making right now were for West Morales because her old ones had a crack. And what? Yeah, you know, the pieces I'm throwing right now. And the fact that um, there was something up with the glaze that we made it. Whoops! Don't mind me! Don't mind the clutter in the background, it's just Sarah being a klutz. Hey! We have the originals right there that I'm making. A little bit smaller because those bowls are a little And big. a little more roundy. Because the little gloopy shapes are so nice. Okay. There we go. Ooh, there. There we go. <laughs> yeah, Daddy. There. Are you enjoying the warm? Oh, actually, it's kind of hot over here. But yeah, there is partial sun on this monitor. Which is the reason why it's being 81 degrees on this side of the room. Oh actually, my. I believe that. Oh my goodness, your fur is hot! Do you want to go over to the shade? No, you're laying in a sunbeam again. Yeah, you're a sweet girl. Your, your fur is hot! Are you happy? She has had so much. She is so over winter at this point. Yeah, she is done with winter. No, oh, she's an old lady cat, so, you know. Not a whole. Here, would you like to go into the shade? Would you like to go 
full shade? Tail, right here. Man, I probably found an it clean tail. Well, I you have to find a local. Um, oh, that was the one that the cat had been laying on the last two times out here. Yeah. <laughs> because the cat had been. It was cold, but she really, really wanted out here, so we had found her a spot by the heater. We, we made her space by the heater. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, you know how they were, the pieces were sitting out here? How there's now sun on that table? Oh, dear. Are they drying? Oh, yes. And I still have to um, shake the handle lens. And for whatever reason, this one does not want to huh. be a bowl. Oh. Is no. it Kelly Frazier is now? watching? I can see the um, comments, but I don't really need to see the video part. And now it was arguing. Yeah, it's an old phone. There we go. Actually, I don't remember the shape of the boys were supposed to be. It is supposed to be that more and more the little eastern street side. Okay, well, I can do that too. So I can change. I'm oh, sorry, it's like, ping, shape. remember the thing. Because that discussion was not written down. I think oh, this is a little big. It was big? Okay, I thought it might be big. Yeah, this is a nice bulb. I don't think this is big. It's some not remember the, um, the station. Yes. Yeah, something that's more. As I recall, at that point, it was like 9, 10 at night. After a long day at 12th night. Well, it was 12th night 1. 12th night 1, at least. Mind you, that was the one that it was the 16 hours to get there. Right, yeah. Inclusive of stops and sleeping for a few hours. Two hours. Two. I said few. This gets it nice and smooth. So but like this, only smaller. Yes. I will cover we'll back up what I'm working on. It's one thing. I need more of a. That was 25, which is more of a mug size piece. Yeah, maybe uh, a 19 ish. Yeah. Emesis, that is. Yes. Why? I just idly wiped my hands off, I'm sure. If it ends up with clay stains, it ends up with clay stains. Yeah. Nineteen ounces? Twenty close enough? Close enough. That was from... 2008. Sure. The... Look at the sleeve. Oh, yeah. It's 2018. I have to say that it's starting to look for a date. Oh, flood. Um, Goblin's Grove is the one who designed, who made the t-shirts. Made the t-shirts. Made the t-shirts, yeah. It was utilizing um, your design for the t-shirts. Yeah. yeah. That has been, that's also been the most that sort of pattern has been... Well, that was from 2012. Yeah, it originated from 2012. Yes. People had... People liked that design so much. They yeah. came asking if they basically... There could be a reprint or a new version thereof because they'd worn out the original shirt. Yeah. Oh, we've got a lot of people. Yeah. Over here, it's Hello. just... Not working. Well, you see, because it started off with saying two names and four more. No, but it, it's saying cannot play video. I don't know. I don't know either. Poor thing, they need to be started. It may have be having the same issue that the it's um, it Peter Bill Scott. Yes. The last one. It's the last one I have over here. Yes. Good afternoon. T-shirt I'm wearing came with the wheel I'm using. 
and that was more than 15 years ago. Um, 15, because it was when I got this wheel here. Which was after we moved to 14. About four, 14, 13 or 14 years. Because we moved there in yeah. 2007. So 13 years old. 13 years old. Well, it's had a hard life. Yes. Teacher. It's in, interesting decade. Handles on this kind looks all refined. I think I'm also going to just, you know, chuck the shoes. Yeah, it's warm out here. It is warm. Yeah. Oh boy. Our metabolism said finally switched over to winter mode. Yeah. Meow. Meow. Yes, are you a happy girl? Is it nice and warm out here right now? And no kitten. And no kitten. Marie. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting my feet snuggled. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. It'll be a little bit before the kitten can come out. Yeah. For one thing, is she is likely to go into complete and utter hyper mode because it's new territory. For another thing, most days it's still chilly in here. Yeah. And she is, as of yet, only like three pounds. Because I weighed her on the shipping scale this morning. Roughly three pounds. Roughly, yeah. As much as you can, you know, get the kitten to hold get still. Get the kitten to hold still on something the size of shipping scale. Let me know when you need the next piece. Does it look to be the right size? There it is. That's more the right size. Like that. Yeah. And that'll also be a much easier size shape to pack. Yeah, yeah because stack. particularly for pieces that are going to see a lot of you know moving in boxes. A good yeah. shipping aspect the packing aspect ratio. Yeah. Is best for, for use. Survival, yeah. And they'll okay. match the plates. Yes. Yep. Do you want me to uh, choose a third piece of the same size so we can pick the best match of the two? Yeah. So the three or best match and best pair. two. Yes. Best two out of three. Yes. You. See. These I had your piece cut off at twenty-five. I'm like, you know what? You can stay twenty-five and you can be a mug. Because we need mugs. Mugs, mugs, and more mugs. Oh, and the um, quote unquote extra one just fulfills another order piece. Oh, good. Because we need three bowls. Actually, we need to turn the page and make sure that we only need three bowls. Yeah. Um, Eric Stutzman. Good afternoon. I'm doing bowls right now. And when I get finished doing the bowls for orders, I'll be doing some mugs. Yes. Not very exciting to watch. Uh, but if uh, anybody has something they would like uh, me to throw, just wait. Comment. Ice 18th century ice cream, sir. Not today. Not today. Not today. Well, that one's going to be interesting. Yes. That'll be a fun one. And actually, we have one more bowl. 
a semi-spherical one for doing um, the in, inside and outside um, tentacle. Ah, fabric. yes, that one. Now the sun's coming up from too, coming from too high up for me to shade much. Mind you, the, the glow coming out of the top of it is kind of cool. Yeah. So I'm going to need to cut you off one more bowl size piece. One. One. One more. There we go. Raising us. The lander is watching. No. There we go. wander back over to my job of work. Oh, Anna right. Van Hansbrook is good afternoon. There's the um, dehumidifier kick back up there. Have things dry soon. Oh, um, yes. The pieces that we have up on the shelf from the other day are starting to look like they're getting nice and dry. Yeah. Courtesy of the dehumidifier, this is currently the driest room that has clay in it. Because we're trying our best to keep the clay out. 57% humidity, 74 degrees. So things should actually. Well, I shouldn't dry it that much. Of course, and we're going to have to turn it off again tonight because it's supposed to get down into the 30s. Yeah. And below 40, you're not supposed to run the dehumidifier because it could freeze. Yeah, and then you have like busted coils and stuff. That it's would no be good. bad. Mm -hmm. One thing, hello, it's broken. That would be bad. Yeah. It's bad enough that brief time period when our heater was broken for out here. Yeah. Oh, and it was so, so cold. No one could predict that. Nope. It was an unfortunate accident. Yes. And I'm on Kyle's number two so far. Oh, good. It's hot. Getting it all smoothed out. I'm not okay with this sudden warmth. The cat is. Is the cat happy? Oh, yes. She's going back up into the sun beam now. Have you cooled off sufficiently? Yeah? Yeah? No, if it weren't for the fact that, you know, Picks. it would cause temperature shock, and we tempted it to open the window. Yeah. We don't want to let the cold air in. No, no. One. Or the moisture. It was nice to, to see Nix helping you yesterday. Yes, that was really cute. She was just... Being that darling little nuisance. Yeah. She's decided she likes paintbrushes. Yep. It was the, the sound of the paintbrush against the pottery. It was really cute. You wouldn't think about a paintbrush making much noise. Also, she reacts to the different colors, too, which is yeah. really intriguing. Never had a cat that's quite so color conscious. Yeah. Because the fact that the color the, the color of the pottery was changing in front of her eyes as the brush ran over it. It's it was just, just chewing on the end of one of my brushes and chewed right through the finish and into the wood. That's kind of like, well. And really, that's not a cheap brush either. No. So it's got much heavier paint on the handles. Yeah. It's like a sixteenth of an inch thick. Yeah, that I could see the cross section. Oh, I know. <laughs> It's kind of cool. And she started removing uh, about an eighth inch of wood. That's why if I lose the end of my paintbrush. It's not the end I use anyways. I wonder how much water you work with is mildew or mold 
ever home. Uh, not since we moved. No. When we lived in California, we lived on the coast. And yeah, that we had it issues was, with mold and mildew. But that's one of the reasons why our air cleaners, because there's, even to this day, even after the move, we have air cleaners in every room. Yeah. Every room. Um, we have the air cleaners that have the UV filters, UV filters. which kill airborne. Um, actually, that's what this thing is right here. It'll kill and it's some, the, it kills some molten spores. Yeah, it's got the glowing blue light. It uses a it uses UV light to kill airborne contaminants. Yeah, and it really has worked. We have a lot less problems after. There was one fall that I had problems with the clay, it the slop clay in around my wheel going moldy, and it was like one whole fall that we have nasty. Nasty was had a hard time getting rid of it. And at that point, what you can do to not damage the clay, but get rid of the mold, was to um, spray it down with what was it, straight vinegar. Straight vinegar. I had to clean it out really well. I had used the vinegar on it because it needed to. And we had the um, air cleaner in that teeny tiny room. Yeah. Those are air cleaners that are normally meant for rooms that are at least um, 10 by 12. And that was like an eight by six. It was eight by six and a half. It was a tiny little room. Yeah. And that was not including the fact that it basically it had the one corner that was at a forty-five. Because it was meant to be an office. It, it was, was an office. office. Just didn't process paperwork so much. No. I only have Catherine Walters and Donovan Reed. Hello. Good afternoon. Donovan would know about the mold. Uh, yeah, that's in the beginning to, to that area. To that, that, oh yeah, that area. I always um, laughingly called it the mold capital of the world, or at least of California. Yep. I never lived any place else that you didn't have your furniture touch the walls, otherwise the wall would go moldy. And that was in a normal house without the additional moisture content. Yeah, that was... We haven't had any problem with that up here so no. far. What's kind of funny is people have been asking us, um, what do we think of the high oh, humidity? Good there. afternoon. And no, the we high haven't... humidity up here. And it's like, um, it's we lower than it was on the coast. Yeah. Oh, you have the you know, Pacific Ocean. Yeah. We live you have the rivers. <laughs> we live within Probably a quarter mile of the ocean? No. But not quarter mile of the river. Quarter mile of the river and ten miles from the ocean. And you have that salt air. Salt. Yeah, there was no ridge between us and the ocean. Now we do live close to three rivers now. That was one of the things that was endearing about this area. Is it still moisture? Yes. We didn't want someplace too dry. Eleanor says, howdy. Hi. Doing Middle Eastern shaped bowls. Yeah. What I do. Nice street sides. Yes. Using the. There we go. What I'm doing right now oh. is cleaning up the handle junction uh -huh. on Kylix. Linda, good afternoon. Oh, there went my tool into the water. <laughs> oh, it's it. warm enough that I don't need hot water for that. <laughs> yes, courtesy of the sun pouring into this room. Yes, it's in the seven. It's seventy-four in here, on the cool side of the room. Well, up there at least, far side of the room. Walking from the south side to the north side, there is a very distinct temperature difference. Yeah, there would be so. The south side gets the sun. We're talking less oh, moving from my oh she Desi has found the spot in the sun again. She's cooled down enough, I guess. So we brought the kitty out. Little lady kitty. Little old lady kitty. And she's like she's like, Why did you wake me up from my nap? Oh, it's warm here. <laughs> 
What's that? Heavy humidifier. Yeah, she's just the EAT humidifier. Yeah, which is nice. Ah. Strings. Yeah, that was one of the. You uh, stop it. Towel she's using right now is an old bath towel that was cut into eight. There's a lot of things that enter their final stage of life when they uh, enter the shop. Towels, office chairs, other random. Pieces of random piece shelving units. Okay, no, one you small don't. desk, one small, two small desks, <laughs> one piece of desk. Yeah, well, that was true. part of a a suite of furniture in a house that we used to live in, but it wasn't um, nailed in place. So we took it with us when we moved. The other half of it is out in the shed. What the little jewelry kiln is going to go on. Yeah. Like, it's perfect. They'll probably wait until it's uh, a tad warmer before we start setting that up more. Uh, probably probably the second half of this year. Yeah. Like maybe this coming fall, because we just didn't get to it this year. And now no. we have like other priorities. There's other priorities, yes. And home. Oh, Good afternoon. Hello, Andy. And let's see. Another bowl? Yes. That one's to be the round sided bowl for um octopus. With little okay. tentacles going over the edge. Okay. So probably a rounded lip as well. I put that back. I don't think it's now. really doing anything. No. The sun moved. Do you like where the phone is now? Yeah. It's in a better position? Uh huh. Good. I mean, if I take it and I rotate this 180, probably work because then the cord will sit. Uh, uh, oops. Well, now it's really got to sit 180. There we go. Oh, because that go. part finished snapping off. Yeah. Well, there's always a matter of, like, getting on a bungee. Yeah. Right now, it's just gravity. Oh, there. Now it's showing video up there. Uh, yeah. This would be a little. Are you a happy cat? Are you a happy cat? It's the sun is moving here. The plastic goes back in the plastic door. Yes, that's what the drawers and the desk for the, that the computer is in um, work for. It's holding nearly plastic for uh, covering pottery. There's a lot of drawers in that one, though. Yeah, three of them hold plastic. Three out of the seven. Yeah. Well, it's kind of the height of a standing desk. Yeah. For us. For us, because we're short. Not somebody who's average height. Yeah. It's the height of desk that you have a stool at rather than a chair. Yeah. We have a stool that works at it. Yeah. It's on the other side of the room right now. Like the sound effects that go for that go with looking for a tool. Where'd it go this time? I can't remember magic who I got do 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 from at all. No, it wouldn't be my son or anything who does all the IT work. He's never used that phrase. Sometimes it was when he was um, moseying away from something he was pretty sure he should not have done. Since he was like his early teens. The high speed mosey. Spirited mosey. Spirited mosey. 
the affected innocence, it screams guilt. But he is actually an extremely good IT guy. Yes, he is. And has a um, couple of basically outside clients. Very good at making um, older tech or tech that has funky issues work. Yeah, anything that's got you. Go that way. Your empty seltzer can? Yeah. I'm glad I brought it out here. Yeah, it is kind of warm. I wish I brought something to drink now. You could go get some. I could go get something, but at the moment, my, I have a pilot. At the moment, I'm out of trouble. Okay, I need a hand of Chuck's clay. Stop! <laughs> okay, these are two mug sized pieces. Clay gets into the workings and it doesn't always stop. <sighs> okay, I'll take this one. Ah, you! <laughs> You're a nuisance! Okay. Um, we need how old. many mugs? Bath house come to die. One, two, three. We need at least three mugs just to keep the orders. Okay. And we're out of kitties. No, we have two kitties. Tiny mugs. She's reached full zen. Yes. Look at that. Well, now she's got um, largely shade, but uh, it's I'm still warm. very warm over there. I'm warm. I am happy. It's bothering me. There's no rambunctious kitten going, you're holding still. Can I come up and hit you with my glove? Maybe you want to play this time. Oh, yes. Oh, I know. Oh, she was, the kitten's already figured out what Nick's, I don't think that's a good idea. I mean, not think that's wise. I wouldn't do that. And she's like, what? Oh, oh, Jesse's looking at me. Run away. Or growling. Yeah. Oh, direct eye contact has been made. Matthew Brighton. Good afternoon. Hello. Favorite part. Cleaning up under. That's what you get for being here, so. Yep. The two of us do have very different vision, and we make use of that factor. Because by cleaning up under the edges of handles, where the handle is mm -hmm. within. It's less than six inches from the face. Just so you can get your face close enough to see what you're doing. That makes her eyes hurt. I'm very far sighted. I am and even and even with the bifocals. It is know? well inside well beyond closeness for her comfort. Because your max your closest comfortable distance is what, about eighteen inches? About Maybe fourteen. Maybe, whatever this is right here. Yeah. Whereas if I'm doing close work, I'll bring things up to about eight inches from my face. And, well, that's not because I need new glasses. These are new glasses. Yup. That's because, whoop, tool got away. Well, one eye is twenty twenty-five. the other one's twenty forty. And when they... And they tried to make it, um, so they were matched. It gave me double vision. It gave me double vision. One on top of the other. Which was so oh. they're going, oh. And then I go, no. Make it <laughs> it's stuck. The, Make it stuck. It's the, and I go, this kind of, you know, this is the doctor. So and I go, this kind of response makes me close my eyes right away because that's bad. It's bad and ouchy. Yeah. Ooh, I am treating myself to a given grip for my birthday. Do you have any recommendations? 
Do they have more than one kind now? Is there more than one kind now? They are just the best thing in the whole world. I highly recommend them. They're not cheap, but they're so worth it. I, I have two of them. Do one is like 20 years old and one's maybe four. Because yeah. it stopped having oh, quite as much precision. Because so I get about, it wore it out. So you get about 15 years of good use out of them? Of heavy use? Of heavy use, yes. So, um... I forget. Where did you order your last book of Oh. Was that from Bailey's or did you actually send it on Amazon? I don't remember. Let me see. Yeah, if they have it off at Amazon, I just yeah. put it off there. And you can get, you know, more of the stilts and stuff. The most recent one has the blue. The blue feet. The blue feet. Let's see if I can get it in here. There you go. And they have a, you can get them all the way from this short up to about 8 to 10 inches. The short ones tend to be the ones she uses most often. Yeah, because they sit at an angle like this. So as you go out like that, if they're really big, they're going to go. They're going to go, which is not a good thing. All depends on how big your thing is, how big your. Um, yeah, you can just order it off at Amazon. I think I must have ordered it off at Amazon. That's what I recall. If you grip model 10 inches. There's, it seems to be one standardized model. That's what I remember. Models. Yeah, and there are... Because other things that come up like... Oh, oh that's yes. a cool looking tool. Cheryl Moe tools. Mm. A new all double-ended trim tool for pottery. Oh, that one looks that one's very, very cool. Evil. I wouldn't mind having that one. Um, <laughs> I do have a birthday coming up. Is this one more thing? Yes, it is. That's her. That one, that actually looks like a seriously cool tool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no. Yeah. yeah. Just okay. order them off of. Um, Not sure if there's a different version, just starting research. Yeah. Um. The. The entry on Amazon at the moment um, was two seventy. Yeah, could also just put the um, a link to it in, in yeah, the comments. Yeah, I can snag it because I didn't. I can get back and get it. Because oh, that makes trimming so much easier. Mm -hmm. Oh, I found my cursor again. There we go. Some the issue with having two screens is sometimes you lose your cursor. Yes, this is not my normal mouse copy. Mouse on my computer has uh, programmed buttons. And what they do is copy and paste. So I use them a lot. Come on, give me the enter key. There, there we go. go. There's, There's a link. Just oh. fails. No. no. Oh, I need to come take things away. Oh. I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> well, I think it needs some maintenance and okay. not just the percussive maintenance. The yes. And we've had to replace the belt on this one, the switch. Probably just needs to have the gunk taken out of the foot pedal. Either that or there could be something wrong with the belt again. Or there could be dust in there. There we go. Got things moved. Weekend of trimming using clay to hold things down. Oh, oh yeah. So the invest in mine. You see. It's so worth it. Because, yeah, otherwise it takes forever. That's how they teach you how to do that in school. I remember. I remember. I really did not like it. But yeah, she was parent. Good afternoon. Now I'm throwing some bugs. 
the sun is shifted off the wheel head for the most part now. Yeah. It is the um, apparent temperature seems to drop significantly. Maybe it's just you know I'm not sitting in the sun anymore. No, because that hasn't changed over there. No, as an apparent. Yeah. Oh, Stephen Trickle. Good afternoon. Hello. I'm getting you a bunch of mug shapes cut because we need to have by March more Persian mugs. Sixteen. So you want me to be doing some some Persian style mugs? We we need at least three normal ones first. Okay. I've done one. One. Shows you what I'm not really paying attention now, does it? Maybe that's my job. Got me talking about um give a grip. Because it'll save you oh yeah. It takes thirty seconds to center something. Rather than uh, five to ten minutes if yeah. the, if it's being friendly. If it's not being friendly, it's it seems like Yeah, because the first time I got one, I still lived in Dublin. It's before we even really got serious about wanting to move. Yeah, so I saw it in one of, it was an in, ad in, in, in a pottery magazine. Yeah, it was actually in a paper publication. <laughs> I saw the ad, I, I found the website, and I ordered one. And that would have been, what, closer to 2000 then? Before 2000. Before 2000. Because it was, yeah, yeah actually, for, they haven't um, kept pace with inflation price wise. Let's put it that way. Yeah, because the original it was over one, a, it was over a hundred dollars. So it's probably close to what it is now, except they made them better. Yeah, they the new versions are notably better than the ones twenty years ago, which is something to say for anything ceramic technology. Yeah, they actually improved it. They did improve it. Unlike so many things craft tool wise where it's like, well they changed out the rubber part for silicon, so it'll last longer. That's why I like my, my silicon tools. Yeah, because you used it there there was a time where you had some rubber ribs. I had some rubber ones. I, I still have a number of wood ones. Yeah, the rubber ones like start started disintegrating. Yeah, really quick. And your silicon ribs are mud tool brand? Mud tool brand, yeah. Mud tool brand is really Yeah, they the the mud tool brand is has longevity. Yes. Because you also have not pulled your metal ribs from that company. Yeah. And yes, he has destroyed some metal ribs in the past. Yeah. The tools, they wear out. I'm not sure being, you know, having a permanent crease put in metal work is wear out. It bent <laughs> when I was using it. So that counts as wearing out. <laughs> That's to survive use. <laughs> So there. The thing is, is the, the note says more Persian cups. And that could either mean Isnik or it, or it could mean those um, semi spherical. The um, any of these semi spherical ones. Yeah. The big global ones. The big global I, ones. I really like those. Yeah. We need to make more it of those anyway. Somebody at. Um, Ursulus? Ursulus. No, I don't remember who it was. <laughs> Whoever it was, I'm sorry. Combine not being terribly good with names in the first place with third event in four weeks. Yes. One in California, one in Oregon, and one in Washington. Yeah. In that order, too. Yeah. It just keep going for the north. 
unlikely to see us across the border in Canada. Unless it's mm. just a quote quote for fun event. Because we've heard kind of fun to horror do. stories. Yeah, it'd merchants. be kind of fun to go to an event and have the We to we just need to get that extra bit on our um, yes. IDs. Minor details like get on the get the upgraded ID. Yeah. Because while you had a passport, neither Christopher nor found it when we moved to. Yeah, I remember. It was right where you'd been keeping it, which was like two or something like that. Or no, it was like a keepsake. Yeah, because well, it's long. It's from the early. It was from the early nineties. Yeah. And they're good for five years. Yeah, so it expired before the turn of the millennia. Um, because the picture in that was before I started covering my hair. Oh, wow. Yes. Because you could see the silver strip in the front. Yeah, because it was right, it was within a week or two of you leaving that you first dyed your hair with henna. And yeah. it came out really vivid. vibrant. There we go. All credits have their handles small and then cleaned up. Went to England in '94. Yeah. Sixteen years ago. Yeah. No. Twenty six years that. ago. They're <laughs> like, wait, no, carry <laughs> one. <laughs> yes. Colin's twenty two, and this was before he was born. Yes. I was still in grade school. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Christopher Gross. was in like kindergarten, first grade, something like that. It was in the summer, but he. Yeah. Or he was going to start school or something like that. I think it may have been that he was going to start school. Yeah, he went in four. I, I did the eight hour time change, but the wrong direction. Yeah, you, you asked me, it's like, well, why aren't you in bed? Why is Christopher? Because at that point he had very. The, he had the irony sad. of the time, the irony of the story is, is he that was the one time. that he was always in bed by 9.30, always up at the same time in the morning. Man, did that change. Yeah. Now the TV exists on a 24-hour cycle. Only 24 hours? Maybe 28. It varies. Case in point, he just... He does not exist on a day-night cycle. Depending on what kind of paperwork you're looking at, he doesn't exist. Oh, no. Hey, he's on the, um, the, what was it? The homeowner's insurance. The homeowner's because insurance. you guys were all adults, so the insurance agent put all three of you on it. Yeah. Which didn't work three that us, way yeah. before. Yeah. It was, I was just me on there before. <laughs> It might also have something to do with the time different of state changing the way. Different state, too. Different yeah. state. There seem to be more allowances with the paperwork for this place in terms of there being three related non married adults. Yeah. Which took some explaining to some of them. Yeah. It's like yes, but you might say it's a household of three bro room and uh, three housemates who happen to be related. I still count as head of house. Yes, you do. I'm still wrong. You still beat yes. your butt. Yes. No. <laughs> and Christopher and I know that. Oh boy, yes. <laughs> Mom is boss. Mm, also, yeah. literally, because Mom, we also need regular shaped ones. But that one is coming out for me, that shape. Yes, but we also need some standard shape mugs. And so far, let me see. well, one of them might count as a standard shape mug. You straight put. Is that that not sitting level? What? Is that that not sitting level? It's not. 
Well, from my angle, I can only see the there's a bucket centered on the wheel head, so I can see um, only the far edges. Got Gurdu around the back pins. It's usually the case. And then what you can do is this. Put down the yellow head, which will get on that. Yeah, because there's nothing on the back. Practical level wheel cleaning. Because it's just not practical, at least for us, to uber clean the wheel head after every use. This is not a school room. Laura Terry Steel. Hello. Mm. You got pretty lighting on the wheel head. You can see some of the uh, um, varying light through the leaves. Oh, what's the matter, kitty? Is the sunbeam getting away now? Mm -hmm. It's still plenty warm in here, though, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's going to feel cold when we go inside. Yes, yes it is. The 66 it's, inside. It's going to be 8 degrees cooler. It's one of those things about, you know, good insulation. It's holding the cold in. Yeah, well, that with the be. sun. The air isn't that warm, but the um, house doesn't have that many windows. Not And this room is well all window. Pretty much. But that's one solid wall, the one behind you. Yeah. But you see outside of the house. Yes. Yes, yes, this now. Yeah. This room, as far as we can tell, started off life as a deck. Then it was a covered deck. And then it was an enclosed deck. covered deck. Yeah. And then they decided to put walls in on it. With windows. Everywhere. Yes. That and then we used wall. lots of leftover windows from God knows where. Possibly from the habitat for the uh, from humanity store. I think this one is probably from the That's family room. Probably the original family room, yep. Yeah. Oh, did you did you spot the sunbeam on my table? Do you want the lap or do you want my table? But you know, the fact that the sun warms it up isn't a bad thing. No. Because in the summer, all we have to do is come out here first thing in the morning before it gets hot. And we well, leave after... The, and we leave the screen windows open. Yeah. So it gets insulated. It gets not insulated. Ventilation! Ventilation! <laughs> That's the word! Go. Wrong one! Hi! You're in my face, kitty cat! Uh, yeah. I have to say, I'm having to so, listen. You're sitting on my little pile of clay balls. I know it's the one remaining Sunday, but it's my workspace. Look at the screen to see what shape the cup is that you're throwing. Because there's a bucket in the way. Oh dear. Hey, here it is. Probably with more shop, there's more places to put things down in. Hi. There we go. And there's another plain mug. Yay! Are you going to need me to bring up source material for the globy mugs? Sure. Okay. You maybe want things to come out. Yeah, well, I want at least one more normal shape mug. Because the, the one on the near end of that middle shelf 
It's a nice shaped mug. But it's not one of the standardized shaped ones. I'm not throwing some of the pieces that we've been seeing in pine tea. So oh, I'm not goodness. doing any, any uh, bronze age or the, the, the iron age stuff. Yeah, the iron age. They haven't done um, too many, you know, on-screen recreations of the actual shapes of the Bronze Age stuff. So. Yeah. And a lot of those were simpler, more blobby forms because those were done on either a slow wheel or without a wheel at all. Which is oil, oil built. So maybe soon we can get to uh, starting... Ajax's new pilot in Brighton? Uh, yes. Only we'll, we'll get started on that one soon. The um main tube of that one, should we do that as the row? row? Yes, it'll be about this tall. And then probably like take the kids out of one side to allow it to compress. Or if you do it thing. if you do it when it's still wet, you can wet enough you can it it's not gonna bend far enough. Because that thing was a horse. It was one of the people you are now, though. It might. We may end up with more than one of them. <laughs> it's another don't be a dick. Romany yeah. It's another thing about don't be a dick. I think what some of those about and great pieces is you just get half about age sensor the and it just Well is it time to have a drink of water, good guess? I'm not surprised. You spent quite some time sitting on that Sunday. When we went out to the stores this morning, we were wearing sweaters. We became the virtual shopping trip, too. Yeah. Relation who's still in the hospital, she called us and she got to be included on our shopping trip via, via, phone. via phone. There you go, girl. She ended up with getting me. We got her a rose bush. Well, Fred Myers had. They had some nice bare root roses. Yeah. It's the oddest shops that have the, the good bare root roses. Well, we used to get them at a hardware store. Yeah. Years and years ago. They didn't even have a, a real garden center. No, their, their quote unquote garden center was a display of plants outside the front of the store. Yeah. That was it. I think they may have had like a little fenced in area to the side. Oh. Really? And see where um, that store had originally been a grocery store in that spot. Really? Yeah. It must have been a time mm -hmm. grocery store. Oh. Someone was at the beginning. They had a lot of the smaller grocery stores. More the neighborhood rather than the the, the mega. To make a grocery store oh, There's the one that was over by what used to be Mervyn's. Where's that grocery oh, yeah, store that there? Which wasn't big. No. It's what, Albertsons for a while when I was a kid? Yeah, I think that's where it was. I, was, I couldn't remember which one that one was. <laughs> that one had all the, all the grocery stores. It had Albertsons, it had the Luckies, it had it the Alphabeta. Way, it had a pack and save. Which was the, the cheapy Safeway. Yeah. Which went away? Or was the one in Dublin did? I don't know. If I don't all know. Of went away. Yeah, that, that whole shopping center got torn down and became condos. Yeah. A high rise condo. And it was con high rise oh, condo in Dublin means four stories. It's the legal limit for things. Well, yeah. 
it was a small town, small city. Yeah. Excuse me. They weren't a town. They were a city. And all the cities in that valley had a covenant map of. So they didn't. Um, there was a map that had kill. So they didn't walk the view of the hills. Oh, we got a message. So. Oh. Okay, that must be a must be a message on my account because that's what. Which yeah, considering who it's from. Please. Just get it to minimize for right now. Is that what you're doing? Now that I have to go look at the screen, the little screen, the big screen, and now I'll put your water back underneath the downspout. Okay, I know what the rest of that conversation is. Okay, good. It, um, it was about uh, people falling asleep on the other end of the phone. Yeah, yeah. That's what that was. Oh, yeah, because it's kind of like, uh, what do you, you do? Well, you're coming in on the middle of the conversation. Yeah, you're talking to somebody on the phone. And what pretty you soon you will hear the snoring from the other end. Okay, so I'm going to need to cut you some more clay. You want me to bring up the photos? Yeah. Yeah, it's... Awkward. Yeah. It's happened to us, and we've stayed on the line for like a half an hour. <laughs> Before hanging up. But no, it's easier for us because there's two of us who can be talking with one another. Yeah. Why can it never remember to give me the icon? This is not very cool. But you know what? One of the best things for right now is sleeping. Yeah. Your brain is still healing. Because she's relaxed enough that she just falls asleep. Beth Roseman is watching. Good afternoon. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Doing some Middle Eastern mugs. Okay, so that will come up very large on the screen momentarily. Yup. Well, there's those ones, too. That's not the one I was doing with that other one. Yeah. The big goby guys. Yes. And then there's the innie and outie ones. There we go. Very technical terms, by the way. Innie and outie ones. Well, the glow ones, I thought we were talking about the glow ones, but they have the large... The, the there were some and the small feet and the small openings. And it was both the innie and yabby ones and the big globe ones. Okay, let's so that's the one I could find the image of first. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about the more the the cell the ones with like the cell spaces on. Yeah. The innie okay. and yabby ones. They go the in bike. and out. <laughs> the more the biconic with the feet? But, but they're not biconic because they're not really angular. They're really angular. It's kind of like that, but maybe even a little more exaggerated. It's the one I was thinking of. Yeah. Going up. And that is actually the original base shape that that design started off on. We have adapted that particular design to just about every shape. It looked really cool on the teapot. It looked seriously cool on the teapot, yeah. It adapted the plates with me and me. Several different adapt adaptations to bowls with that pattern. And it that's on pretty much every shape cup. 
Ya. And over here I'm making little six-sided dice using scrap clay. I'll have to add some water to this bag if I want to make um, the alihicos. Yeah. But at the moment the um the little six cider box is lower than the uh -huh, basket full of hedros. Mm -hmm. I know, I need to to bulk up the stock of polyhedral before summer hits them. Oh yeah. We're gonna need to have hundreds. Yes, I know. few things more mind-numbing than painting numbers on 20-sided dice. Yes, I know. Viv, Viv Henson is watching. I know. We've got an example of the category of shape that we're working on right now. And the wonderful sound there. Sounds like an old record player. Wouldn't there be something hideously wrong with the record player was making that sound? No, it's when it gets to the end and it does. Okay, so when it skipped off the record at that point. Yes. Yeah. That must be back to the needle then. Well, the needles wore out. You'd have to replace them. It's just a record. So does records wear out too? Yeah, because you will work until you work fairly well through the other side. Right. Yes. Yes. <laughs> More clay. Oh, sorry. Until then, I try to get the next piece. So and there it's was not one. there. Okay, let me finish cubing that die. There we go. Oh, thank you. You rattled off the first few notes of that. Now it's <laughs> running through my head. <sighs> you know, for the fact that all those pieces of clay for the bugs have been the same size, there's been some significant variation in volume. Actually, to make the really big ones, it needs to be a bigger piece of clay. Yeah. We're only supposed to make them 16 ounces. It's 16 ounce Persians. Little Persians. Huh? <laughs> Little Persians. Little Persians. There we go. Shall I cut the, the rest of the this clay as mug sized pieces? Yeah. We do need two plates, but do you want to put those off until next time? We can do those next time. Okay. Next time I'll just do the mugs. I already have some more of the stoneware inside warming up. I saw that. Thank you for the bag. Also known as the bag that the glitter boxes get cleaned into. Speaking of which, I need glitter boxes. Thank you. You asked why is it her job? When she was like a kid. Yeah. I wanted a cat. You have a cat. It's my job to clean the litter box. <laughs> Cut to 26 years later. Yeah. Guess whose job it still is to clean the litter box? Well, that Morfield, good afternoon. I don't want some little Christopher will do it for me, but he's got a much more sensitive nose. You can't get the smell off his hands. Yeah. Even when he wears gloves, he says he still can't. <laughs> He'll take a shower and he still can't get the smell off his hands. <laughs> it's kind of like, oh. I take video of him. Well, he also has really soft skin because he wears some of his hands. Okay, this skin. last piece here is only 18 ounces. Yeah. So this can either be like a bowl or we, all, we do need a seven to eight inch plate, so a smaller size. Okay, that could be a little pretty. Let's have a piece of paper down here. 
not this one, babe. No. But we have a stack of forms to take back inside now. We go to the yellow folder. Back over here to finish making this brown dice. Yeah, I really need to add water to this bag. There. Now we know when during the um, the winter months there's enough warmth out there, don't we? Meow? Meow? This is where it pays to have small hands. So if you had bigger hands, how would you do... I would have to use a potter stuff. Here's a potter stone for you to show off. Because I'm like, is there one that only two? It's like this. It, it's kind of a... It's a very like, long thumb shape. It, yeah, it's kind of thumb shape. But like this. And you can use it basically as an extra long finger. Given her small hand, she doesn't frequently use it for throwing. Not for something this small. No. Use it for um, the joins on amphora. Yeah. Because that way, if the hand can reach longer, you need it for the length. Yeah. Because again, that's something that's also something with frequently a small opening. Yeah. Well, suppose the neck on the amphora is generally at least um hand width. Yeah. yeah. It is. Generally, you see, I can get further down in there because sometimes my wrists or arms will get stuck. Because said if you look at the muscle development on the forearms, they kind of come yeah. down to a point at the wrist. Yeah, because that's not there's not much foreshortening there. Yeah. Meow. The sun didn't get away. There's one over here. Meow. Yes, it is starting to cool off in here now. Drop two whole degrees. Yes, I know. You can tell, can't you? Meow. And now I'm compressing the bottom. Oh, that one looks like it's that nice bluey shape. It's easier to make the bluey shape with a bigger piece of clay, though. Yeah. But somebody, some people want the globy shape that doesn't hold through the ounces. Just like you can do that with a tool rather than using my finger. You can always just do this. There you go. You're in the sunbeam now, aren't you? Cat does not spoil for anything, no. Oh no, not totally at not at all. Not ever in her 16 years of life has she been spoiled rotten. Um, that one's a little I can do a little cake guy with him. You stay with him. Okay, we got the kitten, the kitten to go nicely into um, the bathroom and be out of trouble while we were out there. We gave her a spoonful of wet food. And I had to hold it wet, as far away from my body as I could so I could not trip on her. Well, yeah, she's a silly kitten, isn't she? Yeah. They went a little bit. Make a nice flat pancake here. Yeah? You 
overlap. Speaking of spoiled kitten. Not kids if you cannot this Meow. Now I need to soften the sponge. Come on, sponge rehydrate. You've been throwing all this pretty. time without calm using your sponge. Oh, I still cups, I didn't need it. But for play, this part I want to do this so I don't make fingerprints in the clay. Yeah, I don't need grooves across the bottom. What we need a small plate for is the lady purple set. So it just gets black and not work. Are you ready to go inside, Desi? Mom has three more pieces of clay, okay? And there we go. Yeah. I'll come with clay in just a second. Not clay. Water in just a second. And I said hold still me. I still have what how in the hall. Shanti is what they strive to find in each column pit is each oh. trench is pieces of diagnostic pottery. I guess I'm doing specifically the rims. Yeah. What's coming? Really? Um the clay itself. The, the, the fabric type is it's generally the first thing. And whether or not there's any surface treatment. Meow! Yeah. But to also date the age of it, you can do. Yeah, the thermal luminescence. Yeah. But then you have to, like, take it in and run the test, which means needs either, it needs specialized equipment versus just having a pottery specialist on site where they go, oh yes, this little tumbled piece of clay, almost indistinguishable from a pebble, you can tell that this is Bronze Age or fourth century, you know, you know nail it to within 50 years of the Roman occupation. Yeah. It's Bonnie Johnson and Eric Markle. Good afternoon. Hey, no. There. I still that if they were running up on just having an expert look at the piece, that's one of the times where it may be possible to be fooled by a really good forger. Yeah. What we make are not forgeries, they're recreations. We do not attempt to pass off the stuff we make as ancient. This is I have to do this test. Right? Also not, with the uh, markings on the bottom. Yeah, all you have to do is look at the markings at the bottom of our pieces. Which probably about 95% of our pieces have the year. There's always that piece that gets missed. Yeah. Or certain pieces that are really hard to find a spot to put, in, put the year on without disrupting the design. Yeah. And then name with some of the great designs, great shapes. Or the skulls. Yeah. This is not your bottom. To no, that. there's no. With both the skulls and the writings, there's no true underside to the piece. Come on, all you guys, roll it over. There we go. One, two, three. 
three. Now it's to the false part making the dice. His thing is, it's given another warm day when we don't have a whole bunch of pottery out here drying. May want to actually do a quick mop of the floor. Mm -hmm. Just looking at how much. How dirty it is? How much dust is on my feet now? Yeah. On the tops of the dark shoes that I was wearing. In terms of candles, I'm pretty sure we have a good sized bag of um, stoneware candles already shaped, including some little ring ones, mm -hmm. which we'll need some of. Last piece of the dies. Do we have to that? Three goats. Ah, ah, ah. Six sided dies for me. I'm trying to figure out what's the most efficient uh, move pattern to get the dots on. I hit it with my finger. Aww. I perfectly want to spell it on it that way. Right? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Another 26 dice. Yay. Yay. Mm. Yeah, Desi? Yeah. Only two more pieces of play left, sweetie, okay? These pieces are just about too small to do this design with, Sarah. Well, you want to combine those two pieces? I can just make two more cups. But okay. They really should be bigger pieces. Okay. And it's going to all make them small. It's not as easy as that. Walk down the arm? No? She's not the falcon. No. Mix will... Eh. We made the mistake of getting out some leftover tuna salad earlier without putting the kitchen in her mm -hmm. room first. And she ran up our backs repeatedly. Okay, can walk down to the desk? There we go. Oh, yes. Snuggle kitty. Get your foot off the keyboard. Okay, everything's still going just fine on the screen. Oh, please don't step on the keyboard, okay, Sandy? Ooh. What? Oh, just did a little wobble. Mm. I fixed it. That's good. Up against all the things. Yeah, stay off the keyboard like a good girl. Oh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Here. How about I, how about I hold on to you like this? Is it happy kitty? Or is this just bloodletting? That one's an interesting shape. It's also more of that Middle Eastern shape. Were you actually holding the wheel in place? Yes.
sure is great. It's big and It was a felicity. Because this scrap clay absorbs the moisture quite right away. Apparently, got the right amount of water sprayed in there. Oh, that's good. Garments to climb up the back of anymore. Not mm -hmm. much screening. the clay tools and see whether or not we may actually need more of the small bladed sculpture tools again soon. Almost all of them the blades are bent. Yeah. Well those things were out. Yeah. Okay. And done. You are done? Cool. I have just finished this die. Yeah. So there. Day 27 mess. Let's <laughs> grab that back the bag. Bag. I think I'll carry my shoes back in though, because I think that's a bit much to play this one on my feet. This one. Mm -hmm. Yes, Dizzy? So, thank you everybody for watching. Bye bye.